All right, here with Dr. Jim Sapani, going to be talking about L-carnitine, L-tartrate, otherwise known as Carnipure. What's up, Jim? How's it going? Good. All right, so just to jump right into it, what is L-carnitine? So it's an amino acid-like compound, meaning it's formed from amino acids uh, in the body. Um, and, and what it does is it does a few things, okay? So the, the, the first is it helps transport fat into the mitochondria. Mitochondria is basically your power factory in, in cells where you produce most of your energy, right? That's where the fat gets burned. So what carnitine does is it helps literally carry fat where it needs to be burned, okay? And then the other things that it does is it helps with recovery because it helps to scavenge uh, uh uh, you know, reactive oxygen species, right? And it can increase androgen receptors in your muscle cells. And the androgen receptors are what testosterone binds to. So the more of those androgen receptors you have, the more testosterone that you can activate, more muscle growth you can expect. So those are just a few of the things that L-carnitine does. Got it. So in the non-scientific term, if I can understand it it essentially supports fat metabolism it's it supports fat metabolism it supports recovery um and it supports muscle growth right. so if you're training people taking l-carnitine is it something they're going to feel right away or is it something that is long-term uh, benefits like uh, what's e possibly because another thing it does is increases blood flow ah, okay. like nitric oxide acutely so basically yes ah, okay so it's good to take kind of like before workouts as well sometimes yeah or you know you know i would typically go with like you know a nitric oxide booster before whereas l-carnitine because it helps with recovery um that 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 boost in blood flow also helps with recovery because when we think about blood flow right we usually think about blood flow going to muscles right mm -hmm. delivering more oxygen more nutrients right which is a good thing right for performance for muscle growth but more blood flow also means you have more blood flow going away from the muscle cells those damaged cells meaning it's carrying more waste products away from the cell meaning it can enhance recovery so it's like a dual uh, effect on recovery between scavenging those reactions of oxygen species and enhancing the blood flow to carry away the waste products. So without saying it's a fat loss product, it's more of a recovery type product that also helps out with fat metabolism. Yeah, it, it originally started as a fat loss product because we know it helps to carry fat into the mitochondria. And so uh, if you're on a uh, low carb diet, right, where you're eating higher fat, one of the issues is you're eating so much fat that you can't get enough of it into the mitochondria, okay? Because you're, you just don't have enough carnitine. Supplementing with carnitine helps particularly those who are on low carb, higher fat diets Got to it. shuttle more of that fat. So essentially you're saying that there's- But over time we've also learned, oh my God, it increased blood flow. It, right. you know, scavenged reactive oxygen species. It increased androgen receptor count in, in muscle cells. That's when we realized, wow, it does a lot more. So somebody who's shopping supplements, who is L-carnitine for and why? Like what is the, is this for everybody or is this something? Yeah, it's for anyone who wants better recovery. I mean, I've got two grams of L-carnitine, L-tartrate in post-gym right. for that very reason, right? But the reason I'm also offering it as a standalone is for those who maybe you want to take it at a different time or you don't want to take it with the other ingredients that are in post-gym, right. uh, whether you're allergic to, to some of them or you just, you know, whatever. Or you is. don't even know that it's in there because I think, exactly. I think a lot of people now are looking at supplements from the That's standpoint a good point. of the a lot of ingredients. Don't. They know L-carnitine's out there because to be honest with you, even with a lot of your products, the pre-workout, uh, post-workout, people are not informed enough to know that there's even create I, I think the the biggest thing nowadays people get shocked wow there's creatine in your post-workout there's creatine in your pre-workout and i'm like yeah they're like oh well don't you want i think the pre-workout space is like i need something to give me a bump but now they know that they need to get nutrients like creatine so they take that separately they take cla because they know they didn't take that they need to take L-carnitine, like literally there's bottles of L-carnitine that I see being right. sold on TikTok. Maybe. 
bottles for like 30 bucks. And I'm like, dude, that's one ingredient in a product that has 15. That's 38, yeah. 40, you know, like, right. which is our post gem. So I think it's interesting. But in terms of the quality, because that's the other thing too. Like, why did you cho choose carnip here? Because I noticed that that's one of the things you kind of like maintained is the quality of the El Carnitine. Yeah, so with the carnip, I mean, I, you, you know, you could use a, a generic form of El Carnitine. Uh, uh, particularly if I was shopping for one, I could find a good quality one. But most consumers... You know what you're looking for. I know what I'm looking for. Most consumers, you know, you've got to trust the, the, the supplement company. So I made sure to use Carnipure because it's an established... Uh, a brand for for the purity uh, and the consistency of the dose that you're getting. Right. So essentially, if you want the highest level of quality, knowing that what you're going to get, and I'll tell you right now, people nowadays, I think, are more prone to, it's amazing how they know less about certain supplements, but then know more about quality of things. So they're looking for things like what you said, like, well, what's the quality right. of this thing? but don't understand the specifics of it. So I think it's good. What is the biggest misconception you see with people taking all carnitine? Because I think that with the popularity of it, especially on social media, people just, oh, it's a supplement I need to take, but no one's telling about like why. And then, so what's the biggest misconception to you? Because I have my own opinion. Yeah, I'm curious I, about I yours. Think the biggest I think the biggest misconception is that it's a, a fat burner. Mm -hmm. that it's for fat loss, right? L-carnitine, because that's what we originally understood it as, right? right? And so back in the 80s uh, is probably when it really, really started getting popular in, in our space, in, in the fitness space among people. Because like I said, we know it helps to carry fat into the mitochondria. So it's very simple to understand, right. okay? So I think most people are still stuck on it being like it's going to help me burn fat. fat. I'm going to, without I, ever knowing, if I want to lose weight, take L carnitine. Right. I, somebody on TikTok without, said this, right. Is a fat without burner. ever knowing it's going right. to enhance recovery. Right. There's other benefits. Blood flow. Right. <laughs> testosterone and androgen receptors. Right. Right. Um, and so you get all these other benefits. So anybody who wants to be leaner, more muscular, uh, who wants to re, you know, recover, uh, better after, training or after uh, practice right. even, you know, athletes, right, want better recovery, uh, L-carnitine is for them. All right, so I'm going to ask you just a couple questions real quick to clear up some of the misconceptions, and you can either say yes or no, okay? Mm -hmm. I think it might be easier for people. Is L-carnitine for fat loss? Yeah. Is L-carnitine for building muscle? Yeah. Is L-carnitine a supplement for recovery? Yes. Can L-carnitine help by increasing your testosterone? Ye, well, no, not by increasing your testosterone, but by increasing how your testosterone is used. Perfect. Meaning more of your testosterone gets used. Perfect. So recovery support can be obviously like a little bit of a, trippy, uh, of a tricky topic, so to speak. So how can you explain like what it supports without making it sound like a guarantee? Yeah, so after you train, right, you, you, your body creates these reactive oxygen species, okay? And, and they're good because that's what recovery is, right? It's recovering from that, uh, that chemical damage, right? Reactive oxygen species cause damage, right? They can damage DNA, right? They can damage cells, right? Some damage is good for muscle growth, right? You, you know, you right. want, you, you want know, you want that, for the you know, like the there's some data fibers, showing right. like if you take ibuprofen, it interferes with the recovery process. Well, I think making, that's why you're not a huge fan on like, making it like, too fast, like ice baths all the time. Like, cause you told me like, yeah, it's good in some instances, but like, if you do it all the time, you're decreasing inflammation to the extent to where like, that's yeah. a good thing. Right. In some cases you want inflammation yes. to occur. So you want, you know, you want right. that and those, the natural process that occurs due to the inflammation, due to the damage, is what you want. However, if you have too many reactive oxygen species, right, that the damage gets too much and the muscle can't even recover properly from right. it. And so what L-carnitine does is it doesn't just scavenge them all and, and stop that recovery process, but it sort of, you know, tempers it a bit, right? It, it, it scavenges some of those free radicals so that 
the damage doesn't get out of hand, right? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't interfere with the normal recovery process. It sort of enhances it. Well, will. that's my other question. I'm just going to kind of add something in about like the peptide thing because I know everyone wants peptide, peptide, peptide. And Which I'm not, a, I'm not a big promoter of peptides. Well, and that's the thing I was going to And the ask main reason you, is because we just a, know so little right now. But doesn't it's it, such a gray area. But doesn't it just... Like you said, introducing something that just shuts down inflammation in which sometimes that's a good thing, probably we don't know enough about no, like, but the also, long-term right, benefits for, of that. Because people say, oh, I have no information. For every right? action that a peptide provides that we know, it's providing an action that we don't know about. We haven't, because right. we haven't been studying these things for 30 years like we right. have with L-carnitine, right? Right. Peptides are recently new. They've been around a while, right? But, right. but, but now, but the craze but now on they're, them. they're so hot, right? And, and so you see all right. these, you know, all these peptides. I get that question all the time. And this is, you know, honest to God, I, I have this, but, but I have my, this my main, my, my main answer, yeah. my main answer is I don't want to make anyone a guinea pig. You know, the only ingredients I recommend are those that have been tried anecdotally in the real world, right, for decades and researched for decades. If that ingredient doesn't fit those categories to have that many years to, that we know that it's safe, right, then I'm not going to use it or I'm not going to recommend it. And so that's why I don't recommend peptides right. because, sure, we may know this peptide uh, decreases inflammation we may know this peptide enhances gut microbiome we know this peptide does this but the things we don't know are what else do those peptides do they do something else trust me multiple they're targeting multiple pathways that we haven't discovered yet and you know how we're going to discover them by trial and error taking them and going oh i'm blind now i'm not <laughs> saying that's going to happen but right. it's an example an extreme but it case. could right we right. could find that right. oh if you take uh, bc 157 right uh for six months at this dose 10 percent of people end up blind you know right. we don't know right. is my is the point i'm i'm saying well, and that's so, and that's my argument and it's good to have this so, conversation you know with everybody you, right? asks me and and they think because of my Physique. Background in biochemistry, yeah. right? That I'm like, I'm going to, you know, wax poetic on all these peptides. And I'm like, I don't even waste my time with them. They're right. such a gray area. You right. know? And unless you're getting it from a doctor, you don't know what the hell you're buying right. on the internet. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You know, it's, a, it's like pro-hormones. When pro-hormones came out, everybody right. was like, oh, which pro-hormone? And I'm like, none of them. Right. I'm like, right. if They're you're so going to do pro hormones, just do you st- might as well just go take steroids. Right. Right. You right. don't know what, how much of that pro hormone is being converted. Just take. Right. You know. So. Well, and I know we went a little off track there because we're specifically talking about L carnitine. And I, and which, I, and I do like the it opposite of peptides is, is generally regarded as safe. Right. Has been taken in the real world for many decades and has been studied for many decades. So we know it's safe and we know what it right. does. <laughs> so with breaking this down for people who want to know, like, cause I noticed that a lot of the, the L carnitine is in liquid form. People have that and you're specific on dose. You're like, and you've told me like, well, the liquid, you, how do you know you get the dose? If you're putting in a cap, it spills all this. Yeah. So what's, what's the breakdown for servings per bottle, the daily routine concept, and what per serving means when it is related to the L carnitine? Yeah, so the L, the gym L carnitine is 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 a gram, basically of L carnitine L tartrate per serving, right? And so you could take it as you know one serving twice a day. I, I generally recommend about two grams a uh, minute per day. So Got you it. either take two doses at once, right? Uh-huh. Which is what I have in post gym. And if you're taking it post workout, I would recommend doing a double dose, two grams. Uh, for recovery needs. But if you're just taking it throughout the day, for like I said, transporting fat, better blood flow, right? Uh, scavenging those reactive oxygen species, then you can take it like in the morning. And, and I recommend taking it with, with a meal, particularly a meal with carbs, right. okay? And, and, and if you're like, we were talking about low carb diets, right? 
uh, high fat diets, they do well taking L carnitine because it helps transfer fat. Right. If you're eating low carb, that's that's fine. But the reason I mentioned the carbs is that there's research showing that L carnitine, like creatine, requires carbs to get into the muscle right. to do its job. And so I highly recommend taking it with uh, food. Right. So, <clears throat> so essentially, I, I, I'll interpret that in my own way, and yes or no, and then a couple other questions before we wrap it up. So basically, if you're looking at L-carnitine, it's important to kind of look at the, you know, the quality details, like you know, about the formulation and the capsules is probably the best way to take it versus liquid because you're actually getting the accuracy of the dose. Exactly. Correct. And so I think a lot of times people... Plus those liquids. They spill, you and never they, know. They're messy, they're they sticky. They don't taste that good. And they don't taste that good, right? <laughs> so so in terms of the, the difference of the capsule form, it is yeah. more detailed to give you a specific dose, which is important. Correct. Right. And it's too small little capsules right. to swallow. So with this, what you is the 68, it. yeah, what does the 68% L-carnitine by weight mean? And why is that an important detail? 68%, oh, um, it's because of the L-carnitine L-tartrate, which is the salt that is attached to it for stability. So the L-carnitine L-tartrate means there's two ingredients in there. There's L-carnitine, which is what you want, right? And then there's L-tartrate, the salt, which helps with its stability. Got it. Um, so that's just telling you how much of the actual carnitine in that dose is. You see? So as a final question, as we always try to do, it's just like, you know, for people, you know, who are uh, looking to get like a quick recap of it, you know, what is it, how it works and simple as you can yep. and how to use it. Yeah. Uh, L-carnitine is an amino acid like structure or molecule we say because it's made from amino acids it's not like a pure amino acid if you wanted to categorize it but it's made from amino acids and what we originally knew about it was it helps to transfer fat to the mitochondria where that fat can be burned away uh, so it was originally thought of as a fat loss agent but over years of research and people using it we discovered that l-carnitine also uh scavenges uh, reactive oxygen species, so it helps with recovery, enhances blood flow, um, and increases uh, androgen receptors, which are the receptors that testosterone binds to in the muscle. Got it, so essentially. So better recovery. Amino acid recovery, fat loss. Better fat loss, better muscle growth. And then use it most likely post-workout. That, uh, that's when I personally take right. it, post-workout. Um, because of the recovery benefits that you get from it. Plus, you're raising your androgen receptors, right? One of the things that happens when you're weight training is your testosterone levels go up. Well, if you've got higher testosterone levels, right, but not enough receptors, that helps. only so much of the testosterone is going to be used. If you can increase the number of receptors, then more of that testosterone that you've created now gets put to use, for muscle growth. So best taken probably around afterwards. So that's why I prefer. Got but it. like I said, you don't have to. Got it. Um, got it. Which is why I've, you know, I've got gym, you know, L-carnitine, L-tartrate for those who want to take it whenever. You and know, other times. Yeah, there's some people who don't even, who maybe don't weight train, but right. want the benefits. Want the benefits. The